What's up YouTube, Infected Zine in here with a new video and I saw this um, kind of segment type thing on other people's channels and thought why not have my own since I've been collecting cards ever since the game came out. Sure I didn't know what rarities meant, or what values meant, how to duel, any of that stuff when I was little. But you know, I still collected the cards because they look awesome, right? And so um, I'm going to be talking to you guys about how I got the Shallow Grave. First off, I want to point out of how bad condition it is. Like, how old it is. Like, look at that playware. Um, pretty much in all the corners I have it, really. I mean, it's in pretty fucked up condition. But it's from the set Pharaoh's Servant, and it's first edition. So, that's how old it is. I've had it for, like, whenever the set came out, like, seven, eight years ago, maybe. Six, seven, eight. Something along those lines. And, um... Oh, and a quick thing. Um, I'm having the camera a little farther away because everyone's implying of how freaking close my face is to the thing. It's like, hello! <laughs> so, um, yeah, this is how I got this card. So, me and my family, we went to Walmart, something like that. I'll just have the card right here. Let me. Whoosh. Me and my family went to Walmart, and, um, so, after we did our shopping, forgot what we went to buy, you know, just random shopping. I guess we went food shopping there, too, because, you know, they sell food in Walmart. They sell everything in Walmart. You can buy, like, a car in Walmart if you look close enough, and, um, we ended up leaving. I was I wanted Yu-Gi-Oh cards obviously. I was like seven, six years old at the time. Keep in mind I'm like turning seventeen soon, so <laughs> Okay, I guess I wasn't that young. I guess I was like eight or nine. Whatever, that's not the point. So the point is we were leaving and I saw a pack of Feral Servant unopened right on the floor next to my car. I was like, Holy crap, the Yugi gods just wanted me to get a pack. So I opened it. Boom, get Guardian's Things. That was one of my favorite cards back then because it's so broken. Freaking flip, return card, flip, back down. Next turn they attack, flip the card. And it was 2400, which back at the time was like only beaten by um, Dark Magician, Summon School, um, and what's it called? Gate Guardian, who the hell was going to summon that? And um, Blue Eyes White Dragon. So keep in mind that. Guardian Sphinx was really broken back then, that's why I liked it. But that's the point of the story is this card. So I found this card, and it's a rare of the pack. Back then I thought rares were like super like awesome and shit because you know they had silver lettering when everything else had plain black lettering. And um Yeah, so I got this card like that, and I've had it ever since. I mean it's really awesome. I've actually lost a whole bunch of the other cards because back when I moved and I've moved a lot of times actually, like in the same area, but I've moved. I've left some cards behind, sadly, and um, at least I kept this with me, right? So it's the first edge. It's even a magic card. Like, that's how legit that crap is. Um, it's not that bad of a card, if, I guess, if you team it down with um, the cards that always work with setting. Because I played on Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship 2005 with cards that set all the time, like those Egyptian cards, like Guardian Sphinx, Swarm Scrabs, cards like that, the Death Quota, or whatever his name is. And I actually did pretty good, but it's a video game, and comp sucks, so, yeah. Um, sorry for making that noise. Um, so, yeah, case in point, I've had this card for so many years now, and I don't think I'm ever going to let it go. It's actually really cool that I've still had it. So, yeah. Um, let me know what's your card you've had on the longest, and I'll probably be doing this segment once a week as well. So, thanks for watching, guys. Peace out. Infected Zenin, out! That sounded weird.